Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard and everything is wetter than water. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Standing in puddles and the sun comes out and it's like a sauna bath. Yeah, I know there's stuff on this. I left it out earlier in a dry spot and the water still splashed up on it. And what I want to do is try something I was thinking about since yesterday and that is just using a white background. Hopefully. Oh yeah, no, I didn't dry my, my OXO omelet turning spatulas, but I will in a second. And hopefully that won't be a problem. That is an OXO omelet turning spatula. Best paint spreading tool in the world in my opinion. Available on my Amazon link under show more under the video. Especially because it shows all of the weird stuff as you go along that might be in there. It looks like I may be it's hot out here. Maybe I put a little more paint on here than I absolutely needed. But I love being able to see those things I want to pull out. I want to make sure that I have all of my canvas covered, even though I know that probably won't be an issue if I decide to tip. And I will decide to tip because that's how I'm going to spread my initial paint. That was water. I don't want water in my paint. It destroys the polymers. Hopefully it's diluted enough not to be an issue. All right, so I tried to set up my camera so you guys could see the vertical way. I don't really need to have anything on my edges right now because it'll just keep my keep it slippery. But I have a few things and I'd rather they not all drip down at once. So I'm going to do something with that. I'm going to throw my spatula back in the bucket so I don't have an issue. Now this wants to be really simple in my opinion, as long as the bottle is open and it sort of is. Um, I need my silver paint, and the silver paint is where? The silver paint is nowhere to be found. Well, okay, I guess we're not painting with silver, but we will certainly just go ahead and find out what happens with black. And if I like how this starts, I may do something entirely different with it. Give myself an edge catcher. I've never done anything exactly like this. I don't know how it's going to work. I may put a basting brush in there. My intention is to use chain. I need it all to, to go down to the bottom. Well, I may not need it all to go to the bottom because I think if I use a bamboo skewer, then I can even take some paint right off. But I want that on the bottom as well, so I'm going to have to use whatever residual is on the skewer and then my thumb. And a waggle. I just don't know how this is going to work because I've never done it. And I know that black and white often sell together, and I wanted to try just once to not use too much paint. I mean, I started out not wasting paint, and suddenly I'm just taking a bath in paint every time I turn around. So I think if I start like this, with less is more, I can then add more paint if I want to, and see if more becomes more. <laughs> If that makes any sense. All right, I have a whole dish of clean chain. I like my my juicer to um, to make that yes, that is what I had in mind. If I, oh, it got me. I was going to say, if I let that rest at the end, at the edge, it might deposit its paint over the side, which is desirable to me. I kind of figured if I don't think that this is very impressive, then I can use it for a background for a whole other painting tomorrow. But without trying, I really don't know. So this is an experiment. And I may want a clean piece of chain. And to what? <laughs> I 
and to not blend the paint color so much. I kind of want to be able to turn that on its side so I can make a pointed top. It's slightly a delicate touch, but I think anybody could do this if they tried. Or maybe with a little practice. And I have a little bit of gray paint on that bamboo skewer, so I also have some on this chain. I kind of want to change up the design of what I've got there a little bit. I kind of also want to... Oops, there was some color on there. I did not expect that. I don't know where that came from. Oh, I do. It came from the last painting. Okay, it's gone now. <laughs> now, I want to do something else, which is take the chain, take a little bit of paint, dip it in, in a loop, try and not drip it across the painting. Let's see how much paint we get on and how much stays. I'm going to go back and do it again, even though I just changed it up again. I want more of those, these, right here. That's what I want. And I think if I pull up the chain fast enough, that's what I'll get. Yes, I am correct. Yes. And the deeper, 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 deeper bird is back. And that's pretty cool. The question is to me right now, do I want to leave it black or do I want to try another color on top? Just because we can, because we're here. And that's the name of my book on the Amazon link underneath Show More. And you look underneath the video. I did gold yesterday. I wanted to do some silver. I'm really tempted by something like magenta, but I'm not sure that makes any sense. When it's just so much fun for me right now to pull paint. So I think this is what I refer to as a quickie in my vernacular, my my little world of paint pouring or dragging or whatever you want to call it. I am liking learning, teaching myself how to pull those up, and I do want a little more black. I actually just think I want to put some more black right on top of something and see how that goes. Because I know the skewer will do one thing. And the basing brush, when I have one handy, I think I cleaned one and didn't take it out of the bucket. Yep, there it is. All right, let's take the head off it really quick. And do that, that's pretty cool. I'm not unhappy with that a bit. That's very cool. Let's do it again. And then we'll just play with I see I have a black lizard creeping up on me. So that's cool. Let's do the same thing down here, make them more cohesive. So we've got little funky flowers. Let's put them at different heights. See, I'm not really good at quickies, evidently. Lost my touch. Oh yeah, the edge of the the edge of the basic brush is awesome. I could even dot those. But you can always go back in and rein in. Whoops. Rein in anything. Anything? Maybe not. <laughs> With the bamboo skewer. So that's all pretty neat. I kind of want to change it up a little bit. Oh, I got to get rid of that one with the red on it. Wow! Okay, well, I kept thinking red, so red is what I got, I guess. Not for long, I guarantee.
So what else should I do to this? I don't know. Um, I can't really... Yes, I can. I'll just add a few... Add a few spirals as I go. See how that works out for me. Pick up some more of this interesting paint on my skewer. Come on, drip down. Yeah, that's cool. I'm going to pick up a little more paint. Try not to drip anywhere I don't want it. Go both directions until I get what I want. So that's pretty simple and a little interesting. And I'm going to go back up here. And finish off that funky little shape I started with. And notice I've got some of that red up here and I'm going to remove it with my fingers. It does not go over the end. But I think that I can fake it. Yes, I can fake it with the basting brush. Just tap, 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 tapping. More or less, anyway. Try not to get any more of that red in there. So I'm not sure if there's anything else I want to do. But I love the textures and the patterns of things that happen when I use my bamboo skewer and add a few things of interest. Which aren't hurting my feelings anymore. So it's, uh, it's a little on the plain side, but that's okay because I think I think I'm just interested in, first of all, letting that go over the end and using the residual where I notice I'm missing a little paint. Letting it do its own thing. Add a little depth. I was going to let it run. But um, I don't think so. I'm just going to give myself one. Add a little black because I can. The same name as my book on the Amazon link. It's the first hundred videos that I recorded for YouTube and tools and processes. And after you're gone, I am probably going to be touching up my sides for a while, but I've got a bunch of gray and black paint around here. And I can just put it on my skewer, roll it over the edge, and in some cases I can probably tap it into place with my finger, which is definitely my intention right now. I don't have to do it on this side because there's no paint over there, but um, I'm okay with this. She says as she adds yet another line, or three, or five. I want to make sure there's some paint there, and I'm not just digging around in the... There we go. The bamboo skewer makes some really nice delicate lines. Very delicate at the moment. Cool. All right. Well, I keep trying to say I'm done, and I keep finding other things I want to play with. And steel paint.
and you can steal paint. So this is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio saying that was fairly quick and um, I got a minute 25 seconds left and I'm not sure other than to tell you that you can shop my Amazon link at no added cost to you and it will help me out. Yeah, that's good. That's working. Kind of like that. I might do that again some more. Why not? Cool. Definitely. Definitely something I think is not hurt, hurting anything. I like my spirals. You know that about me. And now I have more than a few. So we're going to torch this to release the bubbles in the paint. And I'm going to tell you if you look under Show More underneath the video, you will find Pinterest and Instagram. You will find my Amazon link. You will find the paint pouring recipe. You will also be able to, if you're looking for a place to donate, you'll find pay, PayPal and Patreon. And if you do donate to help keep the, studi the studio going uh, and help me out, then you will be entered in the monthly contest drawing, which I'm about to make the video for shortly. And you can check on the end screens to see if it's there yet, anytime. As soon as I have it, I post it, same day. And I'm still expecting the drawing date to be July 12th for this particular video. What else? Please give me a thumbs up. It helps the YouTube algorithm know that I should have good placement, and I really appreciate that. It's the same algorithm that knows how long you watch a video for, and a lot of you are watching for six minutes or less. Woohoo! And there's 20 minute videos. So, um, the other thing is, they've just announced that you won't get notifications, which you should probably know, and I should have probably known, uh, unless you allow notifications. So, the only people who are getting notifications out of 70,000 people, well, almost 70,000 at this point, of my uh, subscribers are people who have allowed notifications, only 3%. So, allow notifications. And what can I tell you that I haven't told you already, which reminds me, you guys have made some awesome comments, and you keep my morale up all the time, and I really appreciate it very much. And you have made contributions to keep the studio going, and I appreciate that very much. Yeah, I'm going a little crazy, but I like it. Short trip. Um, yeah, I like it a lot, actually. And I'm going to put it on the other one as well. Cool. Alrighty then. If you give me a thumbs up and watch more videos, you can find them on the end screens in the last 20 seconds of this, of this video, along with my website, where you can actually shop now if you want at my Fire Note America and Pixels.com. I love you guys. I will see you anon. Maybe in another video. And I will be looking at my edges. I gotta put some white paint on this side. Otherwise, I'm done. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out. Is that even anywhere near close enough to see? So long as I can do it and still leave 20 seconds, you'll see everything. Or the camera will shut off. The camera shuts off after 20 minutes, so I have, have to set a timer. That was fun. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you soon. Priscilla out.